that. It's tremendous. I mean, clearly, I thought you were walking the talk and CIMB is walking the talk with you. But as we know, changing the way we do business is important and CIMB is doing that. Uh, numerous examples in other discussions today. But we also do not live alone for a bit of time. We are a part of a broader community. Uh, our market, how, what, how does CIMB act as a catalyst to, to help the market and those that we touch and who we do business with also join us in that journey to net zero and actually making a positive difference? I mean, we're leading by example, clearly. What more can we do, and what what are you doing to actually bring that community with you? Yeah, yeah thank you. So we we recognize that we we recognize that uh, we 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 are not alone, and uh, if we are alone, effectively collectively as a country, effectively as corporate uh, Malaysia, uh, we will not be able to actually to deliver. So uh, we we recognize that our responsibility is beyond effectively CIMB. So this is where I think we have uh, tried uh, very hard to, and I have to give credit uh, to my predecessor, uh, whereby we've been trying very hard to promote the sustainability agenda within corporate Malaysia as well as across the region. Uh, for instance, I think you mentioned it, I think we uh, conceptualized and established uh, the Cooler Earth Sustainability Summit three years ago. I think uh, now I think there's a lot of effectively of conferences and summit, but we took the step effectively to establish this. It is an annual summit organized to, to really put together global citizen, experts and key stakeholders to deliberate and act uh, on what are the best action forward to realize effectively and to address effectively the, uh, the, the ESG and environment effectively issue. Uh, second, as a spin-off and as a real outcome from the uh, Cool Earth Summit uh, last year, effectively, uh, we, uh, we announced the establishment and implementation of the CEO Action Network. Uh, so it was launched effectively in the Cool Earth uh, 2019 but we operationalize it uh, last year. Uh, this is uh, really uh, a forum whereby you know CEOs from over 40 leading companies in Malaysia, we, we try to work collectively to shape policies and create a more favorable ecosystem for sustainable business and sustainable development in Malaysia. And I think in this coming cool earth, I think there will be a, a specific session whereby the uh, CAN or the CEO Action Network will identify what are the progress that's been made and what are the key priorities effectively that we would like to actually to deliver. Uh, so these are effectively the uh, uh, the, the two I, I call uh, agenda or initiative that we try to do to promote. On top of that, within our own industry, I think uh, we work closely with our regulator, Bank Negara, uh, especially in terms of policy development. I think in terms of developing a clear climate change and principle-based taxonomy, which I think uh, Bank Negara effectively is developing uh, and, and, and hope to pilot by, by year end, uh, we work together to really identify what are the concrete transition uh, efforts and commitment uh, so that we all of us can have a high degree of transparency for the industry on how to transition uh, to align with the global commitment uh, addressing effectively climate uh, climate change. Uh, at the same time also we are working together with our colleagues within the financial industry to really develop what we call a value-based intermediate uh, financing and intermi intimidation financing and investment impact assessment framework. Again, to make sure that we can develop clear uh, guides, clear framework that everybody can actually hope to uh, to, to, to follow. Uh, so that I believe effectively uh, some of the initiative that we try to do to really uh, ensure the, the sustainability agenda remain at the forefront. But at the end of the day, I still believe, as I said, we are 33,000 strong uh, organization. It is extremely important that we ourselves promote how important it is the sustainability agenda within our people because obviously they have families, they have basically colleagues, they have uh, their people outside effectively 
uh, that they know outside the bank. So we are really trying to increase effectively our sustainability training, obviously through through virtual means, through e-learning, e e our own board, and even myself effectively on the management. I think we need to understand more. So we try to develop effectively a sustainability training as well as effectively for our masses, for our for our frontliners, you know, for them to really understand more why effectively sustainability agenda is extremely important. So these are the, and we hope they can be the spokesman, the leaders effectively within their own community to really embrace this to become a much, much bigger agenda uh, for our country and for our society. Oh, thank you, uh, And as we come to the close of our time together, there is clearly passion, you are walking the talk, you are leading the way, and stewarding all of the CIMB group with you. If you have one message to your colleagues in the banking community on this matter, what would it be? First, I think the urgency of the situation is real. I think we all know the impact and the change in the environment that we face as well, how important the ESG and not just environment, but also effectively uh, social economy inclusion uh, and effectively governance is really, really important. So to, to me, the urgency effectively of the situation is extremely real and extremely palpable. So, so and, and because effectively it's urgent, while I know we need to actually to plan and transition better, the most important thing is really to act. And, 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 and I think to act now in the way that we can actually impact uh, things directly. So there are a lot of things that I guess need, need I guess, regulation, needs basically standardization and a collective effort. But we ourselves, within our organization, within our family, within effectively what we actually do, we can actually do things that can can impact effectively this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, ESG effective environment effectively uh, 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 situation at the moment. So, so we must effectively, uh, I, I think, take the action. I think that effectively is really, uh, really important. And we work together both uh, within our community, within effectively our corporate effectively in Malaysia, to really say what are the things that we need to actually to do and effectively do it, right? I mean, if we believe effectively uh, labor practices needs to basically to be addressed, uh, we can actually tackle it within our organization first, at the same time within our industry, for the bank side, within the clients that we actually have. And then these are the clear things that we need to actually to do. So to me, effectively, if there's one word is that let's take effectively immediate action uh, where we can and focus on that while effectively obviously I think we need to tackle some of the bigger bigger agenda bigger issues more challenging issues uh, that need to be to be addressed. That's it. Mahava Bursa and our audience today thank you for being with us and I, I just want to reiterate the faster we act together the better chance we have in mitigating this crisis so thank you again for your time today. Thank you, Dato. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brusa. There's a wise saying that tells us, we do not inherit this earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. So what will future generations say? Is this really the world we want to leave behind? Will they be grateful for what they'll inherit from us? We have the power to create change for our planet, for people, for progress. We must begin the change today so tomorrow will thank us. Thank you from the children, from those who enjoy clean, clear water, and from those who can still enjoy their untouched homes. Thank you from the young ones, from the girl who overcomes gender barriers and from the young leaders looking to impact the world. We can still earn the future's gratitude if we act today. For CIMB, we've begun by committing to the principles for responsible banking as part of the United Nations Environment Programme Finance Initiative. Let's head on this journey of sustainability together. Not by being indifferent, but by being the difference. 
in protecting our community, our environment and our shared future. So, will our future generations be grateful to the present one for the world they'll inherit from us? Will tomorrow thank us? CIMB wants us all to say, yes. <laughs>